Dude, we're gonna make the best three prong ever. Okay. We're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna try to make a three prong and then go spear fishing. Um, we've come to a patch of bamboo. And we're just gonna kind of find a good piece of bamboo to make it out of. And then hopefully we can get a couple pan fry fish here. It'll probably end up being like five feet tall, so like here maybe, right? Because I'm seven foot three. How's that thing? <laughs> Dude. I smacked the heck out of my face. That's pretty good, dude. There's one potential three prong. That's pretty straight, right? Another potential three prong. This one. This is hard, dude. There's too many options. <laughs> Dead at the bottom, alive at the top. Hear me out. Speed at the bottom, packs a punch at the top. Mm hmm. How's that theory? Look at that three prong, dude. Really, for the for the pan fry fish, the reds, the and Pachi Aveo Aveo, that kind of thing. You don't really need range. I mean, they're just in the caves, so. They're generally short, close range shots, so. We have a good amount, we have good options here. Let's go home, make this thing up, and then see if we can spear a couple fish to eat. Okay, we're back at the house. Um, we're gonna start making the prong part. This is what we have for the prongs. It's 3 sixteenths inches and 3 foot long. Piece of steel. Uh, we're going to make each prong 12 inches. So I'm going to mark this out. There's our three prongs. The tips are all done for this three prong, they're pretty sharp. Set up like that, hits the fish, and the angle spreads the prongs throughout the fish and holds it on better. And actually, for those of you that maybe haven't uh, spearfished with three prong before, it's nice to have a little bit of rust on the prongs just to hold the fish on. Okay, as far as three prong selection goes, this one is the straightest, uh, but it's also the thickest. It's Dead at the bottom, goes a little bit more alive towards the top. I'm gonna clean up these a little bit. Do that a couple more times. That's looking pretty good. We're gonna glue the things in, these things. Uh, what we're gonna do is whip up some five minute epoxy and then slide it into the end like so. Oh, it's setting. There we have it. Got it glued in. The epoxy kind of spilled over so I wrapped it. The prongs spread and put stress on the bamboo going outwards. This will keep it from cracking, hopefully. It'll be ready in the morning, and then we just gotta make bands. Everything's dry. They're not going anywhere. So I think I gotta sh I'm gonna drill a hole back here, and then do the same corded wrap thing, just to make sure the bamboo doesn't split. So go ahead, do that, and then make our band. Got our rope, we're just gonna wrap up until this hole over here with epoxy over it. This is more for a uh, looks, well, looks and works. It's gonna keep it from splitting. 
I could just use electrical tape, but it looks cooler if I use this. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, making three prong bands is really easy. Uh, you just gotta get a piece of paracord, put a knot in each end, fray the end, and then melt it. Squish it on there. Do that to the other side. And then you're left with some that looks like that. Next step, take your band material, take one end of your paracord, grab it with needle and pliers, and shove it into the end. Then you're left with something like that. Now you're gonna put one end in the vise, take a bit of cord, and you're gonna make a clove hitch. So you go around, around again, and then feed this tag end under that X, like so. Hopefully you saw that. And then tighten it. Okay, it's nice if you have somebody to hold the other end for you, but we're just gonna do it like this. I'm gonna pull it tight and roll the band back and forth. And that's gonna tighten it. Really singe it down. Cut the excess. There you go. Pull it till that knot seats. And that's how you tie the end of a three prong band. Okay, bear with me. I woke up like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, that's sick. Look at that. Look how cool that is. I don't know, this thing's feeling pretty solid. Whoa. Oh yeah. Huh? There we have it. The three prong is finished. Got some nice sharp tips on it. In case you don't know how one of these works, put your hand through the band like this. Pull it and twist it a little bit just to make sure that it goes straight. But pull it like that and then let go of it. And left. Okay, I think we're good to go. It's gonna, I'm definitely gonna miss the first couple of shots. Yeah, tips are still sharp enough to penetrate a fish. We just gotta be able to hit one. And they're like gonna be like this big. So hopefully we get accurate with it. Um, I'm going with my buddy Rome, so at least we can get some fish on the Kui if I can't get any. So yeah, it's about 7.30 right now. I'm gonna go pick him up and we're gonna go Go to the secret spot. Hey. Okay, let's go. Good morning, sunshine. You have a plan for the fish? I have a cooey. Okay, good. Okay, we made it to the spot. It's a little overcast. Raining. Uh, it looks like it's clearing up though, so we should be okay. Seems pretty cherry. Oh yeah, it's a little. It's a little bent. It's a little bent, but it's not bad for a yeah. bamboo. Yeah. It looks. Like it's, it feels like it's gonna be a little slippery. Oh, that's actually not bad. Yeah, I have a glow, so we'll see. Okay. I don't know. It looks pretty cherry. <laughs> Water's not looking terrible. Never dove this before, but it looks pretty good. I'm not gonna show the shoreline because. I know plenty of other guys that fish this, and I'm not trying to step on any toes, so. We're going for mainly Minpachi and Avail Avail, but if any invasives like the Koala Tafe or Roy pop out, we'll shoot those too. We'll see you in the water. Oh! <laughs> Damn. Back and floats. Front end kind of sinks. All right, this is first ever voiceover, so bear with me. Uh, first drop of the day. Get down the bottom. I saw some pachis from the surface. 
kind of see him in that cave right there. And then right here, Roy pops out. Switch my attention to him. Lose him in the rocks. Never saw him again. Head back up to the surface. Second drop, similar area. Going for the Pachis again. Get down to the bottom, you can see that one right there. Darting out that hole. Look for him a little bit. See another one over there, I'll go for him. Trying to line up a shot. I try these grunts, I saw another dude on YouTube try it, so giving it a shot. Nothing, head back up to the surface. Run goes down right here. Lines up a shot. Misses. Reloads, goes for another opportunity. Does not get it. Comes back to the surface. This clip I left unedited, just so you guys can see what a whole dive would be like. Uh, I don't know, see if you can hold your breath or something. Getting down to the bottom. And then right there, you can see that pot come out, load the three prong, line up the shot, and miss low. Reload again, try to get another opportunity at him. Throw some grunts again. Miss low again. And then just one last check in that little hole. Nothing. Come back up to the surface. It's really slow. It was like, whoa. Think probably. Yeah. There we go. This is the last drop we did in this area. Pachi were getting a little spooked. Get down to the bottom. Oh, the three prong. See one in this hole. Took a shot, and I missed low again. Line up again. See if I can get another shot off on him. Nothing. Back up to the surface. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I almost think we should move to a new spot just to get some fun. <laughs> yeah, I bent the crap out of it. Alright, we dove for another hour after this. Looking in similar caves to this one. <coughs> Didn't find anything, so we hopped out and called it a day. We got a couple drops in. Saw a couple pachi. Look at that guava in the parking lot, dude. Aren't they supposed to be pink? They're normally pink. It tastes different too. Is that it? Man, it's guava. That was a failed mish. Got a couple shots off. Missed every one. Got a couple good dives. We just called it and we're gonna come back when the weather's a little nicer. And we can guarantee get a couple pochies, so. Okay, it's the next day. We're looking for spots. The waves are a little bigger today. Okay, our pochie spot is right here. So. Probably not the best idea. I think it's a little big today. We'll probably try again tomorrow. Well, when the swell chills out. I just started. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Take two. Take like three. <laughs> it's like a week later. Weather has chilled out. Uh, I reviewed the footage and I was missing low and my only excuse is that the back end was floating So it like angled my spear down. and I think that's why I was hitting low So to counteract that I put a three ounce lead in the back sharpen the tips ready to rock with the Homemade three prong okay, That one's still good. I'm getting a lifted Yoda in the back. So it looks like it's mine but it's... <laughs> <laughs> All right first drop pretty shallow right here uh, looking for those pachis again find a couple right here wait a little too long I hesitated missed that shot run goes down sticks a nice one right there that's what we're after solid pachi 
Yeah, yeah. Not bad. That's a solid one. Put him on the cooey. Uh, taking some line off the reef. Okay, I did a drop on some goats right here. Kind of see the surge pushing us around. Um, there's some Moanos and then a Joe right there. I was going for that Joe, that Munu. Kind of comes in right there. Trying to slowly move into range on them. And right when I get into range, that surge pushes them behind the rock. Look for them again. But they moved off, so moved back to the surface. Another drop on the potches, you can kind of see them leave out the back side of that cave. Never got a shot off on these guys. Uh, going for those goats again. That Moana right there. I just go a little too aggressive. Spook him right there. Line it up again. He moves off. Here goes Ron going for Moana right there. Nothing. Um, the swells picked up a little bit more than we anticipated. So, we did plenty more drops without any action. And you just decided to call it. Oh, sh <laughs> Oh, God. Good? We came out with one singular pochi. Pretty good size in there. I don't know. It was a lot swellier than I thought. And in our little pochi area, we were just getting washed. We couldn't really hunt properly and do good dives. But somehow we made it out unscathed. Yeah. Run. Uh, got swept off the rock. We're gonna lose this Four dives we've been on without being able to shoot or hit anything. I've kind of given up. I'm done not being able to take fish. So we're switching it up and we're gonna do a taco dive because I need ulo bait, taco octopus, if you don't know. Um, that doesn't involve shooting, just poking the taco. So hopefully we can at least get a taco. Our taco diving basically just consists of poking in promising looking holes until you feel something squishy or just looking for the taco. Right here I spotted this goat fish, this moano eyeing this rock. So I went over there to check it out, took a drop, did a little poking in the hole and sure enough, a little taco come out. Um, this guy was probably legal, but he was just a little small. Played with him for a little bit and then let him go. I think he's a little too small, I'm just gonna let him go. Back to poking holes. Um, I actually found a little guy right here. You can see his tentacles right there. But he was, he was pretty micro, just let him be. This is the first keeper. You can kind of see him change color right there. Give them a little tickle, and once they have enough, they just come out. Stuck in my three prong. Uh, to kill them, you just bite their head real quick. It's quick and clean, and you know they're dead when they turn white. The second keeper, not too long after. Uh, this guy took a little bit more persuasion to get out, but he eventually had enough. Biting him right here. And there we got it. That's what we needed too. Nice taco. Just got out of the water. Um, we got two nice taco not, not the biggest things ever but I just need a little bit of bait so uh, one for me one for my buddy unfortunately we never got to spear fish with the homemade three prong but got shots off on fish just I don't know the thing's slow I think it's just slow it's definitely slower than my normal three prong 
kind of a fail, but we might have to make a spear gun next. Have a better chance of getting something. So, yep. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.